We had a, uh, a great day today. Sure did. I guess it goes downhill a teeny bit tomorrow. Well, summer type weather, thunderstorms tomorrow. So muggy. if you, yeah, it will be muggy. It'll be a lot like yesterday was, but hopefully it won't go severe on us. That remains to be seen. It's clear right now in the Twin Cities. A beautiful evening. It's 71 degrees right now. The dew point's 54. Humidity's 55 percent. Winds are southeast at seven, and the pressure's rising. Here are the old stats for today. In the Almanac, the high was 81. The low was 57 with no rainfall anywhere in the metro area for today. You know, every once in a while, you'll hear us explain the clouds and the rain somewhere around the metro area with a symbol that you're going to see coming up right now. There it is. It's called a trough. A trough in the atmosphere is like a horse trough, a little dip that water collects into. And if there is too much of that water, it spills out and falls to earth as either rain or snow. A trough is a little different from a low because it does not have a closed circulation, but you still get the rain from it. And we do have a trough or trough of low pressure on the weather map tonight. It's pulling out of the Rockies and not only has it been producing rain, but also a few severe thunderstorms. In fact, there were a couple of tornadoes reported in northeastern Wyoming late uh, tonight. And two tornadoes were sighted around Rapid City, but we have no reports of any damages or injuries from that severe activity. Severe thunderstorms do continue in the area, and a severe thunderstorm watch is still out until 11 o'clock for parts of Nebraska and Kansas. But that's all to the west of the Twin Cities. We... In in, uh, Minnesota are enjoying a nice area of high pressure. It's a dry air mass. In fact, we got a little stationary front, the same one that gave us our problems yesterday, separating the dry air over Minnesota from the very muggy tropical air to the south. But the muggy air will be back with us for tomorrow. Here's the view from space on the satellite photograph. And uh, as you can see, things look pretty good over Minnesota, but it gets a little ugly as we look to the west. A huge area of clouds and the dark areas represent some very intense thunderstorms. In fact, on the wide area radar network, here's the Weather Service radar from here on South Dakota. They're in the middle and the Twin Cities will be just off the screen right over here. And here's a band of strong thunderstorms which is moving very slowly in an easterly direction. But so far, no severe weather has been reported out of those thunderstorms. Here's the high temperature map for today and 80s were pretty common across across much of the country, but look what happened in the southwest. The season's first 120 degrees was felt in Palm Springs, California. They really didn't feel the heat too much, though. The humidities down there were running at an unbelievable 3%. In the KSTP Weather Observer Network, highs today in the metro area were mostly in the low to mid 80s. The warmest was 85 in Lakeville. Here's what will happen. This area of high pressure now over us will move to the east, and that trough line is going to drift in right behind it, moving very close to the Twin Cities by tomorrow night. So that's going to set us up for a chance of thunderstorms for tomorrow and tomorrow night. Here are the details for tonight. A beautiful evening, mostly fair and mild. Lows of 57 in the outlying areas to near 65 downtown with light and variable winds. But tomorrow, partly cloudy, a little warmer and more humid with a good chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Highs of 82 to 87. Tomorrow night, a good chance of thunderstorms continues. Lows of 60 to 67. Friday, a nice day. Partly cloudy and warm. Highs of 82 to 88. Probability of thunderstorms increases to 40% for tomorrow and tomorrow night. And the outlook, partly cloudy Saturday and Sunday. Thunderstorms returning on Monday. Highs in the mid-80s. All right. Thank you, Dennis.